So, back for another hotel review. Now this time I'm in a chain hotel that I'm not very fond of and I haven't reviewed before because as a rule I don't really like them. So you're probably thinking, why are you bothering staying there? Hi everybody, it's Craig and welcome back to Craig's Life. I know it's been a while, but here is another hotel room review for you. Today is May the 17th, 2022, and I'm in another hotel, but I'm not working this time. I'm going on holiday. I'm going away tomorrow to Spain for a few days for my niece's wedding. And because it's a very early flight, I decided to stay in a hotel the night before. Not that this particular airport is a heck of a long way from where I live. It's just a bit fiddly to get to. And with all the delays and queues that have been going on through security and all the horror stories that everyone's been here with, I thought, well, what I'll do is I'll, I'll stay here and make life a little easier, at least get maybe an extra hour of sleep or so because it's going to be such an early flight. Now, I am here in a travel lodge. And this is at Leeds Bradford Airport. This has cost me £119 for the night. Now that might seem like a lot for what is a budget chain. Now I've stayed in budget hotels before. I've stayed in Premier Inns. I've reviewed them. You may have seen them. Uh, there's also Ibis, although I haven't actually reviewed one of those, and lots of others as well. Now I haven't stayed in the Travel Lodge because as a general rule, I'm not a fan of them. They were always, they, and again, I have to say this, these opinions are mine, but I always found them to be the bottom of the pile. They have upped their game over the past few years. They've had some financial difficulties and they've upped their game by the looks of it. And this room that I've got around me here is actually quite nice. I have stayed in travel lodges previously. I stayed in two near Dublin Airport. One in a place called Swords was really good and it had a place um, where you could get something to eat. Another one I stayed with was South Dublin, um, South of Dublin Airport. And there was a security guard in the reception of the hotel. But if I ever come across a, you know, you go to the shops, yeah, maybe you've got a security guard, but the security guard in the reception of the hotel doesn't send a very good picture anyway, does it? So um, this particular hotel, as I said, is £119. About a mile away from here, there was a Premier Inn. Now that Premier Inn was £90 for the night. There was a beef eater restaurant next door. There was a fish and chip restaurant or takeaway. Uh, across the road there's nothing to eat around here unless I walk into the terminal but the reason why I've chosen this one is I have dropped my car off at the long stay car park and I've just walked from there to here just about five minutes so that I can get up in the morning and be in the terminal for about 4 a.m. which is what I'm aiming for so let's have a little look around this room and see what we think you will notice that I'm doing this on my mobile because I haven't brought my camera with me but hopefully it won't be too shaky so let's have a little look at the room so here is the view as we walk into uh, the room on the face of it doesn't look too bad uh, at all immediately to the left here we've got some hanging space here with uh, some spare pillows here and plenty of space here uh, to put your case um, there was on this shelf a, a fan you'll see that in a minute a spare towel and a little bit more space here a space here where you can lay your case flat uh, tea and coffee making facilities here. I have mentioned before that often with hotels you don't get many in the way of the milks or sugars but there is some on the reception and when I checked in she said just come and help yourself if you want more. There is the fan. That is actually a cover. So the cover was round the fan uh, and as you can see it is nice and clean. It's it's good because it's, it's warm in here as well. Uh, I have a nice mirror here uh, with uh, there we are, put the lights on. Okay, I'll turn those off because they're flickering a little bit. Uh, TV is not the biggest, but it's it's fine for what we need. Here is the heating control should we need it. Now chairs, you've got these, one here, one here. They're not the most comfortable, that has to be said. I suppose at family rooms, they would have had a, a sofa bed here or space for a, 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 a cot. This is the, the view out of the window. So for those of you who don't know Leeds, Bradford Airport is in a place just outside of a place called Yeadon and for many years those of us who grew up in this area referred to it as Yeadon Airport and the airport is actually the other side of the building so that's a nice pleasant view so I'm aware from any airplane noise as well. Turning into the main room this is um, the bed so we've got 
um, a fairly decent mattress here and quite nice pillows um, as well previous experience with travel lodges you've not had very nice beds you've not had very nice pillows but these are actually quite good you've probably already spotted the one thing that is a bugbear of mine no power sockets no USB I have brought my extension lead with me as I always do so I'm gonna have to plug it in uh, just over here uh, and, and run it uh, and run it down here so let's go and have a little look in the bathroom the bathroom is very basic uh, toilet of course sink some hand washing stuff another one of my bugbears a curtain rather than a screen but it is clean and we've got some basic uh, body and hair wash there if you're the sort of person who likes a bath that's actually quite small um, but just get in a shower which I will be doing it'll be fine um, the towels are of a reasonable size as well which is also very good so you might be thinking if you just like travel lodges so much but you quite like this room why haven't you stayed in them before a lot of it depends on location it depends I mean there are some which are next to motorway services it also depends on other factors like for those of you uh, who are like me use reward apps or uh, booking agents where you actually get rewards for using them a lot travel lodges are not generally on those now they're the premier inns actually so I usually look at those hotels first through that app um, so I can get my reward points but if this is actually quite a good fail safe alternative now there is one massive downside to this particular hotel chain you don't get free Wi-Fi you get 30 minutes free per 24 hour period and that is it everyone does free Wi-Fi you walk down the high street, you go from shop to shop to shop to shop, and everybody does free Wi-Fi. You could walk down the high street and never lose an internet connection. If you want the Wi-Fi, it is £3 for the night. So I've got no choice really but to pay £3. I know it's not a lot of money, but this is the 21st century. Everybody does free Wi-Fi. On the whole, the room doesn't look too bad. Yes, it's basic. I'm here for one night. I'm going to be up at silly o'clock in the morning. Sleep is an important thing, especially when you're in an airport hotel. Now time for a score. You know how I score my hotels, one being the worst, five being the best. I have to say that Travel Lodge have upped their game, they have improved. Last time I went into some, they, they were horrible. One of the things that this hotel has got, that the one in uh, south of Dublin didn't have, was actually lamps at the side of the bed. You put the main light on and that was it. That was the only light that you had, so they were on or off. So even silly little things like that. No, you don't get an iron and ironing board. You do it in a Premier Inn, but you do in the Premier Plus rooms. Am I going to need an iron and an ironing board before I go anywhere on holiday? You kidding? No, of course I'm not. I think this gets a three. It is basic, it is functional, it has got what I need. You would have to pay for parking if you were if you were staying here overnight. Because I literally came and dropped my uh, bags here in the room, I didn't have to worry about it. But parking generally is six pounds per night. At this particular hotel, obviously where they are, and if you're city centre or you're in London area, it's gonna be completely different. But for this one was six pounds. Um, but I'd already booked into the, uh, the long stake um, car park anyway for the airport so there we go this is the uh, travel lodge at Leeds Bradford International Airport between Leeds and Bradford and this gets a three for me this was purely convenience to stay here we'll look forward to seeing you next time right here on Craig's Life bye